Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 1st, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and space weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun at 304 angstroms. It's the filter that they use from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Welcome, everybody, to the last 48 hours of imagery. We do have three M-class solar flares, one of them being pretty strong, all in an Earth-facing position. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, this is where we've seen some big active regions turning in. And they are flaring. Minor C-class and ranging up to major M-class solar flares. But watch this region on the right-hand side. This is the one that produced the most recent M-class, large M-class solar flare. Right there. Having a look at multi-spectrum. Still, these are the two active regions. No major plasma filaments to be noted. Most of them have been destabilized and fallen back into the sun. But the solar proton flux was high over the last couple days and continues to be so with these incoming C-class, M-class solar flares. Looking at another light here, you can really see the heliosphere in action, portraying the magnetic field of our sun. You can see a ring plasma filament forming around the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere right now. Very interesting indeed and duly noted. Having a look at all of these sunspot regions in action, and as reported yesterday, we have 12 sunspots earth-facing and turning in. So heads up. Current space weather conditions, we're under R1, a minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds coming in at 395. Tomorrow we're expecting a G1 geomagnetic storm. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, heightened sea range right now after seeing three M-class solar flares. So that's five in the past 48 hours that we've seen. Solar proton flux is coming down. KP index is three. Let's have a quick look here at the highest frequency absorption map. This is cosmic ray influx showing where the region's highest absorption was around the world. India was zapped pretty good. And then Africa, long duration across Africa. Amazing stuff brought to you all by NASA and NOAA. Real-time solar wind coming in at 395 right now, 395 kilometers per second. But notable here in the orange is the density bunches as they are sitting up at 21.37. That's a heavy cosmic influx. Let's have a look at ISWA space prediction spiral showing still only the most recent CME from yesterday taking off towards Mercury. And then NOAA space weather prediction models here showing the most recent CME giving us a blast coming in tonight. So we'll see our solar winds increase through the event, through the first and into the second. Another close look here, the little green circle, and that is our planet Earth. And all of that yellow and red and green is space weather. Looking at Alaska 2, this shows as well all of the energies coming off from our sun. Just some amazing images. This is brought to you by Soho. And as you can see, that most recent solar flare was Earth-facing. Gave us a full halo CME. And that will now be coming and incoming. So waiting for the updated ISWA space prediction spiral, I'm sure it did produce a coronal mass ejection. Another quick look here at the most recent see me boom and let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as we did see an, e an increase sitting at 240 now with usgs but nothing major to report but interesting regions that are going off right now philippines and up into taiwan 4.9 and a 5.4 there reported today largest earthquake in the past 24 hours was that 5.4 papua new guinea and as well in New Caledonia, seeing some earthquakes today. Vanuatu, 
Newton as well. Deep earthquake here reported. Fiji region, 4.2, 550, 515 kilometer depth. And then we get to northern Japan, Honshu, Japan, 4.9 earthquake there, as well as 4.8, 4.4, and then 4.5. Kuril Islands moving up into Russia. Interesting and notable earthquake here, 2.8 south of the Aleutian Islands. You see an increasing activity through Alaska, Anchorage, and westward. A little bit concerned on what's going on there. Let's have a look at USGS and show you exactly all of the earthquakes. Sitting at 246 earthquakes in the map and in the last 24 hours right now showing. Notable activity building across the Pacific Northwest, Washington and down into Oregon. Mount St. Helens, minor activity at best. No major swarms to really talk about, but increasing activity east of LA and towards the Salton Sea and then overlooking Alaska, the Aleutian Islands. Look at this. We've definitely got something building through the Unalaska. We've seen quite a bit of sulfur emissions coming out of these regions. Stay tuned for that little forecast coming up shortly. But yeah, definitely some activity and th things shifting through Alaska right now. Let's have a look at Zoom Earth here. This portrays all of the satellite imagery. Here we're showing all of the wildfire smoke that's coming out of the Northwest Territories, Yukon and Northern BC and Alberta, Saskatchewan. Multiple fires around the world, but especially Canada, as we're seeing a record wildfire season. Having a look here the last few days, showing that wildfire smoke sweeping across the prairies and now south through Ontario and into the states, northeastern United States. Got fires that are already starting to build through southern BC. As you can see here, wildfire smoke yesterday. Building coming out of a wildfire that's quickly burning out of control on the border with Washington. Overlooking the rest of the world, we do have three tropical systems. Invest 96L is alive and as well invest 97. We've also got do 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 Dora, Tropical Storm Dora, most likely will be turning into a category three, possible four Pacific hurricane heading westward. And then overlooking the rest of the world, we do have two other tropical systems to talk about. Typhoon Kanun is well alive right now, coming in at a category Five typhoon, packing winds of over 300 kilometers per hour. And then we've got 04B depression here, eastern India heading up into Bangladesh. World weather forecast was put out last night as a longer range forecast. Just looking at satellite imagery now, got the old typhoon that just came out of China heading through the North Pacific. Have a look here at temperature forecast for the next little bit. Things are super hot through central United States right now and up into Canada and even up into Northwest Territories, Alaska and Yukon. And that's not going to change much over the next few days. Three day forecast showing things hovering around the 37 degrees Celsius mark. Big high pressure ridge hanging out over the Gulf of Mexico right now so that's going to keep all of that hot air pumping into Canada so heads up stay hydrated a little heat wave coming around overlooking the rest of the world look at Africa 48 degrees Celsius very hot and dry through Algeria Spain Italy things are really warming up here the next little bit quick look here at Precipitation forecast brought to you by Zoom Earth. Giving you a quick browse at the next three days as we have four low pressure systems affecting North America and possible two tropical systems building in along the equatorial region in the Pacific. Long range forecast, as I said, was put out last night. So if you want a more detailed forecast, check it out. 
Big line of moisture heading through the Atlantic. High pressure ridge helping throw that out there. Having a look here now at the SO2 forecast for the next three days. This is air quality report and look at all of that SO2 coming out from the fires in Canada, Northwest Territories. And then overlooking the Aleutian Islands and Kamchatka. This is mostly volcanic SO2. And some pretty intense wildfires that are burning in parts of central Russia. And then overlooking the rest of the world. Watch for all of the SO2 to come out of Canada, up into Greenland, and then eventually Iceland in the long range. Not much has changed in the way of volcanoes, still only 48. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.